And that's a big call. The beat playing with four fouls. And Jackson has fouled out. Not a smart move by Devendorf to take that into the beat. And this a clear charge on Jackson. A little weak move by Devendorf. He grew up too early against this guy. That's that well-designed play. Extraordinary. Taking advantage of size. You know, a lot of college people would like to see that NBA circle in the game. On the blocks and charges. But that's but one that, of that those. Would, that wouldn't have been great. Well, they both yeah, were in that there. That would not now. have applied. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I would love to see it, though, Sean. So three Syracuse players have fouled out, and they have had to go to the bench now for Chris Joseph, who has not played a single minute tonight. Get loose, Chris. And look at the size of everybody out there. He's in the middle of the back of the zone. Chris Joseph, a freshman, 6'7", 220, from Montreal. Price is shot and gone. Now Sabine has fouled out. He shoved Harris out of the way. And what he sold the deal to, which was very smart. Paul Harris, no question. The show, but got the attention. Well, it is a war of attrition, but right now, the biggest oh. impediment to getting to the rim for Syracuse is now out of the game. It opens a lot of things up. This game is now totally different. Totally different. And, the and six block shots to the beach line. He played 53 minutes. And it doesn't look very tight over there, but Edwards now has played well. See if he can step up in the breach. But as good as Edwards is, and he's done a nice job, he's very capable. He's not the same presence. Syracuse will not be worried at all now about attacking the rim. Harris, six out of six from the line. And, and Jay, your point well taken is now Flynn, they can use the ball screen. He can go to the rim and actually elevate over most people. Well, Syracuse picked a good night. They have a much better than usual night from the foul line. They're 72.2 tonight, 63% for the year. Adrian, look out. Joseph was defending. Both coaches wanted a foul. Price, the step back. Tough, tough delivery. Tough hit. Oh, sticking it there. Here they go. Now it's Joseph trying to set a screen for the use of Flynn. He doesn't mind this. He doesn't mind this. Now you're right. Totally different. Yeah, absolutely. They need to keep attacking the 10 now. The whole game is opened up for Syracuse. 24 points, 10 assists for Johnny Flynn. A second straight double-double of 19 and 11 last night. And they're going against Seton Hall. Walker left all alone. His three was way off. He started toward the bucket immediately, knowing he was wide left. And a nice job positioning on the glass as well. Spread them and drive them. This could open up a little jump shot for Dietendorf or Routens. Would you help? Syracuse has not led in any of the overtimes. And Harris missed a great chance. And he missed it again. Will the third time be a charm? It's blocked by Edwards. And a baby way to tank tough. Get it. And that first one was an easy layup. Yeah. He just missed it. He's missed a lot right around the rim. Earlier in the night, you can understand because the beat was in there. But Edwards a long presence as well at 6'9". Nice split. Price all the way to the goal. Hits the floater. Two minutes to go, fourth overtime. Connecticut by two. Devendorf goes by Austria and gets the roll. And tied at 104, 150 to go. Totally unafraid to go to the rim now. This is totally different than we saw earlier. And he is great with that left hand getting to the rim. Devendorf played 56 minutes, had Enough an attack to blow to the goal. He has 22 points. A minute and a half left, fourth overtime. 15 to shoot for Connecticut. Got to keep him outside. And they've done a good job of that. Austri with 10 to shoot. Austri to Adrian. Off for Walker. The runner, no. And Joseph just into the game. Lost it. And then Edwards had it go off his fingertips. Should be waving him up over the timeline. Worried about a 10 second call. A hug 
leg up on shooters. That's going to open up these drives. Stunning to believe in the fourth overtime series.